Hello dear teachers. Today I am going to introduce a software which will help your virtual classes. OBS that is Open Broadcaster Software. With the help of OBS you can create asynchronous class materials and at the same time it can be it can be used for live streaming too. First let us have a look at the basic introduction about this uh, software. OBS basically it is an open source software. It is a free software and it provides real-time source and device capture, scene composition, encoding, recording and broadcasting. This software can be used in Windows, Linux and Mac. And OBS is a very friendly user interface comprising five sections. Scenes, Sources, Audio Mixer, Transitions and Controls. And Scenes which again comprises live recorded video, text and audio. These are the basic features that you should know about open source software OBS. Now how to download this OBS? In Google, you can search for obsproject.com obsproject.com Immediately, that will lead to this page, OBS Studio. You have three options for download, downloading. One is Windows, then Mac and for Linux. We'll have a quick look at how if we click each tab, what are the kind of page that we are getting? First, Linux. If we click on Linux, we will be leading to this page with all the install directions. And if you are clicking for, selecting for Windows, then you will be leading to another page where automatically that will get downloaded. Towards the uh, last right corner you can find that it is downloading my system is already having this OBS software so not I am not downloading it so that I, I just want to share this uh, print screen the screenshot where this last part you can find downloading is going on when you are completing downloading for Windows you have to select it from download then click on the downloaded version for the installation uh, to complete the installation process. Then this red arrow shows how it looks in uh, after installation. OBS will be there in the taskbar and red arrow shows how it look in your taskbar. When you click on the OBS on this taskbar you will get the screen which is purely black. Now we'll have a quick look at what all the things that we can find in an OBS software. As I mentioned in the first slide there are five sections. First one scenes, then sources, then audio mixer, scene transition and controls. This is much more clearer version. Scenes Sources, audio mixer, scene transitions and controls. The scene is actually your one particular recording time where you can add as many sources as you can. And this audio mixer will help you to balance your voice. And scene transition will give another properties how to transit from one scene to another if you are uh, taking more than one scene. Then the last part is controls which actually help you to start record, stop record, studio mode, settings, etc. For a virtual classroom, it is start recording and stop recording is more useful than any other keys. Now, we will look at the uh, sources. These are the sources we will be available when we click on the plus button of sources. Audio input capture, audio output capture, browser, color source, display capture, game capture, image, image slideshow, media source, scene, text, video capture device, window capture. 
don't get tensed and confused these red stars actually I have pointed out to make you more clear that, that these are the option that is more useful uh, for creating recorded version of your class display capture that will uh, record your display image if you want to paste particular image that you can select image option if you want a PPT to be slide shown then you can select for image slideshow which I am using now to take your class take this class then text if you want to type anything as permanent on your slide on your screen that you can option opt for text so these are the main options available for the sources but the starred ones are more important and more significant that we we'll learn uh, one by one for the next uh, in the next video thank you